Welcome to the fourth episode of Learn Angular from the Scratch. So today we will create the product listing section of our application. This video is broadly categorized into four parts. The first part is uh, firstly we will create a seed script to populate our database. Then on the UI side we will create a module to handle all the product listing related components and services. And once done add navigation logic to redirect users upon login or registration success. Then create API to fetch available products from the database. Last but not the least. From UI side, we'll call the service and do relevant editing to display the products to the end user. So to start with, our Mongo daemon is ready. Kept few product images inside assets folder. Let me create a seed folder and product seed script inside this folder. I'm going to create a product schema right after this. Of course, importing mongoose for database interaction. This one I have explained already in our previous video. Here we need to create an array of product object. Now let's just add some dummy description to them which will appear right below the product thumbnail. So this is how our product cedar array looks like. Now we need to execute the script. Mongo shell is also up now. Only thing pending is the insert query. Uh, before that, I am creating an utility exit method to close all the connections in the mongoose connection pool. Okay, then adding a basic do while loop that iterates through the products array and saves each product item into product collection. The moment it reaches the final item, we are calling exit method. Now we need to create a product schema following the same dictionary. Therefore, configuring this Mongo schema instance before exporting it to the Cedar script. For now, I am not focusing much into the collection metadata as this is only done for a demo purpose. So it is better to keep things simple. Finally, exporting the schema to create product model class. Let's see if this is enough for seeding the products. Let's see how many records are inserted now. Alright, as you can see, we have successfully inserted all the products into the product collection. So first hurdle is crossed. Now as I have mentioned in my intro, we need a products module to handle the product listing. Thank <laughs> you. 
fine so once that is done we'll create a dashboard component inside the same folder I am going to lazy load this module as well. Why this IDM is here? Delete it. path can be prod here now let's make this routing module ready for lazy loading basics of lazy loading is already given in the previous video So finally it's time to eliminate the alerts and add navigation to prod listing instead. Navigation method is present inside app config service which is already added to IDM service. And now I'm going, I'm going to start my node server and see if the navigation happening as per expectation or not. Great, but wait, uh, this means without authentication also this page is visible which is clearly not intended. Hence, creating an authcard service to protect the private pages. By implementing can activate interface, this service will act as a guard by checking if a route can be activated or not. If any guard returns false, navigation is cancelled. If any guard returns URL tree, like in this case, then the current navigation is cancelled and a new navigation begins to the URL tree returned from the guard. Finally, attach it to the corresponding route. Now let's create a wrapper component for all the product partials, route components, etc. and add this wrapper component here inside app routing module like this also we have created couple of new components here which are common for all the product routes 
Now inside partials directory, we have our shared headers and footer component. With this minor modification, our product container or wrapper I should say is ready. Here the router outlet is going to be replaced by our current route configuration and it works perfectly now. When we'll add other pages like order, cart, etc., this dashboard portion will be replaced by them, but the rest will remain constant. Majority of the developers today, including me, follows this structure as it provides a neat way of maintaining the complex modules. Fine, so now that the building blocks are ready, need to style the templates with actual data. For header, I copied the dark navbar template from the Bootstrap website. Decent enough, I think. For footer also, I copied a generic sticky footer template from Bootstrap site again. Just changing the labels for our application now. To show each product with corresponding thumbnail and description, I managed to have a card component here. It basically takes a product item as input. Let me quickly adjust these properties as per our expectation. For dashboard template, as of now, just adding a dummy header. We'll come here once again later. We are yet to create an API to fetch the list of existing products. So for that, let me add a product route file here. Starting with all the regular inputs. Okay, followed by the get product API method. Under app.js, let's adjust the roots here a little bit. Fine. As the user routes is changed, replicate the same for the registration and login as well. Okay. Finally, just export this new route. It is returning us all the products from the product collection. Now we are almost done, just we need to add this call to card component in a for loop from the dashboard template. Here also we are calling the same get all products API and the response is used as a async pipe in the template. And this is how our get all product API looks finally. Nothing extraordinary, I would say. Since the descriptions are really long, we need a way to truncate it beyond maybe 30 characters, maybe 50, we'll see.
since the images path does not start from the asset folder path we are explicitly providing it here from the template oh okay 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 my bad this guy should be public not pub private fine now things are a little bit shaped up now let's see how it appears in the screen okay needs minor adjustment i feel first of all i forgot to add curly braces here also bring this guy this header inside only yeah all right we just need to fix the amount part and add a cart button great so after some styling change we arrived here well this brings the end of today's episode in the upcoming episode we will build user profile order and product cart page so Congratulations if you managed to stick with me till the very end that's actually a great achievement so if you learned something new today then please hit the like button and if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing to it thank you for watching